Welcome back, everyone. I am Rabbit. Andrew, am I? <laughs> and, and this is episode 82 of Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. In our last episode, we collected our prize for helping Kamoi turn from a demon dog into a nice puppy. Not and worth it. Yeah, it was 500 gold. Not worth the trip, to be honest. And then we came back to Deningrad, read some bullshit in the library, and now librarian Upte, who is Andrew, is saying, <laughs> That was not the voice you did for him. Ute's a, it's a southwestern Native American tribe. Ute. Ute, I think that's what you said. Oh, really? Ute. I like Ute better. Go! I don't even, I don't even, it led to the dragon campaign. We were just doing this. I, Are you serious? I don't remember. That's okay. I changed my accent. So I was really, that's I have, it? I have goldfish mind. Mm-hmm. It led to the dragon campaign. Dragon campaign it led to. What do you need? Do you need what? <laughs> Are you acting superior again? No. Stop. Sorry. Of course, I am superior. I prefer being a hit with girls over feeling superior. Whoa. Hashel. That was... I don't care about those usually things. usually a little more sly than that. It seems you are interested in the dragon camp. Oh, my God. Please, no more. Winglies, divine moon objects, dragons, and dragoons. These all had something to do with the dragon campaign. Then Lloyd has something to do with the dragon campaign? Oh, my God. Uh, guys? The dragon campaign, if they say this one more time, is my specialty. Maybe I can oh, be of assistance. Oh, no. Tell me. Oh, no. We only know fragments. Oh, oh God. God. Well, let me I tell see. you everything I know. This is the legend of the dragon campaign that I know. There better be a oh, cutscene. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Okay. Movie time. Yo, listen up. There were seven dragon warriors in the legend of the dragon campaign. Dragoons reputed to be the incarnation of dragons. Dun, 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 dun. Shut up. Dragons at their side. The dragoons fought boldly. However, in the age when the legend was reality, the Winklies dominated all, even the gods. The gods answered to dictator Melbu Fama's prayers and granted him ultimate power. But the power was abused. The Earl of Saint Imperial Gloriano was scorched by the god's fire and became ashen. The anger and sadness of the people was fuel for the dragoon's cause. And at last they freed the gods. Without the god's power, the Winglies perished, and our age, the human age, began. Thereafter, the gods floated in the sky. For 11,000 years, they have been looking over the world as the moon that never sets. Here it is. So wait, so the winglings are the moon that never sets? No, the gods are the moon, I think, that never sets. Okay. And they Maybe. gave the power to the winglings. I don't fucking know. That is the story. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really sweet beat, though. I know. Dude, but that's the song that <laughs> always plays <laughs> when they were telling <laughs> the stories. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> were, that song played when we were learning about the tree. Okay, so I want to take a minute to say, because we've been roasting nonstop the dialogue. I really think the story of this game is fascinating. I just think it's being told so poorly and in such a long, drawn-out way. I, yeah, I don't... There's a lot of potential for this. Like, different races being involved in wars, and then but you basically don't, you don't each... But you don't see any... It, it, each, everything that is interesting about the world is about the, the legends of the past. Okay, which is why I think they, if they had done something, like released a game or a movie or some other shit that involved the past... Like, utilizing outside media. So you can do that in a bad way, right? Where maybe you rely too much on, like, manga or you rely too much on a film to supplement the information. But I think if they had done this a little differently, there's just, like, so much downtime. And I don't think that the game carries itself very well, at least in English. Like, maybe the Japanese one, there's I less filler. I I think it's like Shana's book. It's there's very little detail to anything. Uh. We're, 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 we're so far into the game, and what sort of is supposed to be driving like the, the main point of their 
the, the main conflict of the game the characters are involved in is very simple. Yeah. There's a bad guy who we think is involved in destroying my village. Let's find him. But really, that's all. That's everything that's happened so far with the main conflict. And what's what's emerged is legends of the past. But in terms of the details and the amount of content of the past yeah. that we've unearthed, it's still very little. And it's like not even like our group interacts in a meaningful way. I don't know. Right, I it's just, not, it's not uh, like Final Fantasy 15 where we're like a bro squad. <laughs> So are you high, really relating? High fiving and okay. like jumping around and are shit. Are you really relating this to Final Fantasy 15? No, well, I'm gonna have to ignore that thing. comment and keep but going. This is the opposite. Did you find extreme, out right? something related to Lloyd? No, I I hear what you're saying. I just feel like when you hear tales like that and the way that they're told, I'm like, oh god, there's so much potential for this story. If only they had fucking continued and made a sequel prequel or made a movie or an anime or something I like mean, this they, game. I mean, they have a reason for it, right? This game is so like, it's good, but I definitely think this game's overrated. And I think that a lot of the holes that exist could be fixed in a remaster, a remake, or just carrying on the it would, legend. It'd have to be, it wouldn't even be a remaster, it had to be a remake. Whatever, anyway. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. You are already here, so you might as well check the reference room upstairs. All right, or just a, are they a, more se books? a sequel, right? Yes. A prequel. No, it contains the historical material of Misa So. For other people, it may seem to be mere trash. However, for our country, they are all historic objects. This is something left by the black monster <gasps> that brought an inferno down on this country. Wait, what? The black monster? The black monster? Triggered! It has already been 18 years. It is surprising a young man like you knows about it. I'm 18. I was born in eight. God, <laughs> are you a survivor from the village? God, God be praised. Oh, God. And someone just comes in through the window, just rolls in. I Neat! Don't, I don't like this music. It's like, the king is here. I think this is the music that usually plays in the castle areas. Beginning and ending of the dragon campaign. It is a wall painting with the theme of the dragon campaign. <laughs> Could they be any more redundant? Okay. This is a painting of the dragon campaign. Oh, what do you think about this tune? This is good. Mm. Mm. I can see uh, Yo, baby girl. Barry White singing to this. Holla. Name's Dart. I always pop my collar. What? Oh, come on. Oh, come you on. You hate it when I pop my collar. That's because yours doesn't look good. It's like one collar's up, the other one's down. Isn't that how you're supposed to pop your collar? Andrew, get a life. This is the stained glass of the church in Neat. Do you remember seeing this? Yes, faintly, but I do remember. What are you doing with pieces of my village? It was really a monster. These are the only things that survived the black flame. Do you know anything about what happened to Neat back then? Any survivors or... M my parents. I know only one. Who is that? The second sacred sister of me, Sasso, Sister Luana. I think we. I think it's Luana. 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 That, was, that was a kind of a cool line, though, right? The second secret, sacred sister of Luana. With succulent, supple. S -s -s Soup. 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 What's a body part with an S? S -s Spleen. A spleen. S <laughs> it seems you don't know her. No, but I'd like to. I Can we end this? However, I can tell you a little about the black monster. There is a legend about the black monster and the moon child. Would you like to hear it? Oh, yeah. Why would no thanks be the default? Tell us a story. Yes, please. Please be another cutscene. Yes, please. It is ironic, but... Oh, come on. The people who visit the church. In need to pray for their own happiness by looking at this stained glass, which shows the legend of the black monster and the moon child. Yes. Oh, yes! All right, let's do it. Why did the gods create him? The black monster. He appears in various legends as a demon who rebels against and devours the gods. An evil plague that rejects peace in the world. The god that is the moon that never sets. Wait, what? Shh. The moon that never sets glows red every 108 years. It is a sign that a herald will be sent to Earth. The herald is known to us as the Moonchild. Wait. The legend says the Moonchild revives the gods on Earth and purifies the world. The 
black monster abhors, hates, and despises it, and kills the moon child. This sad karma is endless. This god stays forever in the sky, and the world is a never-ending chaos. Oh shit, look at that. It's crazy. It's nasty. This isn't like Renaissance. Look at they even have like the the broken Yeah, the art's beautiful. It's kind of disturbing though. I'm still not sure what's going on. Yeah. How about you? I think the moon so Shane is the moon child. Yeah, And right. it said, like, every 108 years, the moon glows red, and then the moon child comes. It's supposed to defeat the black monster or something? Oh. I think that's what they said. Okay. Well, yeah, we know Shayna is important, even though she's really not. But Well, she she's mystically important. Ugh. Mythically. Meanwhile, in neat. Oh, flashback, oh. baby. No, no, oh. no, no, no. This ain't no flashback. Nothing has changed. Except for snow. I hate snow. Am I hesitating? No, shut up, Rose. It's silly. Stop talking to yourself, Rose. I'm Rose! I'm Rose! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Rose. Oh, Rose, I love you. What? Mother? What? I am back. <gasps> what the fuck? I so don't... much history and legends and tales of the past. It's the frog second people. sacred sister, Luana, with a succulent spleen. Mother, it's been a while. Since the tragic day, I lost my sight. Remember, Ute was just telling us that she's the other survivor from Neat? Yes. Okay. I am able to see today thanks to the love of many people like Siti. Seti? Seti. Seti. So, yeah. the second sacred sister, Luana Seti. <laughs> May the divine tree bless all something. I don't know. May the frog people reign. Who is it? <laughs> Murder all. I didn't mean to surprise you. You are just a traveler. Please don't be alarmed. Uh, you have to always be on your guard in this world. But she can't see. Okay. There are people of meat and my mother sleeping here. Are you here to visit the grave too? I guess so. Then you know about meat? Yeah, it's pretty neat, actually. <laughs> no, I don't. That doesn't deserve a hand. <laughs> no high fives, nothing from you, Andrew. Neat. Eighteen years ago. Oh God. Yeah, oh, we know. Hear the a, a village burn. Oh shit. oh shit. Hey, remember on the ship, the guards referred to Rose as the Black Monster. No, I do Where not remember that. Where is Princess Luvia? I will never tell you. Arr! And then remember the ghost lady oh, looked yeah. at Shayna and she yeah. was like, oh, Luvia, you're okay. I I can't see. Mommy's scared. <laughs> Don't come. Where is Princess Luvia? Where did you hide the moon child? Hey, hey, it's all coming together. We don't know. What kind of spitefulness do you have towards our village? You want to die with your daughter? Oh, so the black monster wants to destroy the moon child because it's the thing that can destroy the black monster? I guess. Mom, I'm scared. It's like, I feel like that's a recurring thing in literature. Like, that's what Harry Potter did, right? Yes. Voldemort tried to kill Harry Potter. Ugh. Ugh. Princess Luvia left for the sea. Yeah, and then she's on the ship, and then Rose killed them all. Yeah, we know. This must be enough to satisfy you. Now leave this village. The chance to eliminate the moon child comes only once every 108 years. It's the time of birth when the moon glows a blood Yes, color. we know. The newly born child has a magic power. That magic power changes everyone around into an evangelist for the god. A servant to help prepare for the descending of the god. And that's... I hate ah! that. <laughs> I hate it. My objectives will not be satisfied until I kill every single person who was present as the moon child passed through. 
Mom, answer me! It's hot, it's burning, Mom! Why didn't she kill Luana? I don't know. Yeah, she just said she's gonna kill every single person. I guess she then lit the barn on fire and assumed the little girl would die. Uh, yeah, whatever. Who cares? That's another thing that's done a lot, right? They spare one person, even yeah. though they're like, I will kill everyone and except I will set up, you. I'll set up this really elaborate scenario where you will die. And then you That's live. like in, uh, Austin Powers made fun of that. Yeah. In the the first one, I think, with like the shark tank oh, with lasers. Yeah. I mean, like, like, explicitly yeah. made fun of that in James Bond movies. Ugh. <laughs> it was a miracle that I survived. I see. Then you were blinded back then. Yes, however... The god imparted me with something else. Tits <laughs> that rock! <laughs> Sister Luana can see people's souls. See people's souls? But she can feel their pain too. Because of the- Oh, this is the fourth sacred sister setting. What? How many sacred sisters are you there? Just... Didn't we meet one in Dole Now? I think we did. I don't know. You don't remember anything. But I'm sorry. she can feel their pain too. I think you're like blocking this game out now. <laughs> because of this, Sister Luana has suffered. So feel my soul then, Luana. Now I appreciate—I can't appreciate this power that I have because it allows me to heal the pain of people's hearts. Oh, if you need to heal the pain in your heart, please tell me I can help you. That's not necessary. I have no heart. <laughs> By the way, are you done? Are yes. you done? I will go back to Deningrad soon. May I join you? Even if you are with knights, the forest is filled with dangerous monsters. I can protect you from that. Is what? Look, they, all, they, all, they all look there. You see that? I see. Then I'll ask you to come with us. I wonder if Rose wants to finish what she started. Is she going to kill Luana? Let's I don't know. Triple Les out. Oh, I'm all there. Oh, yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> you got the camera. Here. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Home of Meru. Oh, perfect. Oh, my God, you guys. All right. This place sucks. <laughs> this is her home. It sucks. I like that they're uh, showing us both girls, though, and what's kind of going on behind the scenes. But we will find out exactly what is the lowdown with Meru when we come back together in episode 83. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Rabito. <laughs> and we'll see you soon, my friends.